How goes the family? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. It's the first word of the day of the new year. So um, it's all good in the neighborhood. Rest in peace to Gangsta Boo once again. Uh, unfortunate situation when a uh, great young talent, because she was only 43 years old. Um, a great young talent um, is taken away from us or any life that's been taken away from us. So I definitely want to um, say that with all sincerity. Today's word of the day is federate, stands for the Join or Unite in a League, Federal Union, or similar association. And I implore you, everyone, I always, I say this all the time, collaboration over competition. You know, it's one of my favorite sayings from Ewald University. Um, but I implore, I implore everybody to, to do your best to ensure that the people you associate with have your best interests at hand and you should have their best interests at hand. And too many of us, we get caught up in the sauce of not being around people um, at all, or we get caught up in the sauce of not being around people that are meaningful, get caught up in the sauce of people that don't want to have a, a, a union. Um, and I'm not just talking about marriage, but I'm talking about business union. I'm talking about economic unions. I'm talking about exchanging of information union. Um, it's easy to find somebody you can go get a drink with or for the people that like to indulge in marijuana. I'm not a smoker. Um, but if that's what you do, then that's what you, what you do. It's easy to to engage people that just keeps you high and dazed and in a funk all the time. That's a real easy thing to do. That's e It's easy to find people that just want to party and get high and get drunk. That's that's easy. It's hard to find people that actually want to build something or do something. Because the thing is, we forget that the per you know, even because I even use like Snoop Dogg, one of my favorite rappers, you know, my first West Coast hip hop artist I remember hearing was Snoop Dogg in my in my childhood. And I know you had people before him, Ice T, you had NWA, you know, Dr. Dre, Easy E, Ice Cube, um, MC Ren, DJ Yella, all of them and, and two short and various others. But the first rapper I ever heard was Snoop Dogg. Remember my my I still even have this the the cassette tape that my mother my mother brought when his first debut album came out on Death Row called Doggy Style. But and and Snoop Dogg has the image of always getting high, um, Mr. Smoker, blah blah blah. But now Snoop Dogg is launching a death row cannabis brand. So and I don't even think that Snoop Dogg is a is a weed smoker or the alcoholic drinker that he used to be. Because one, he's in his fifties. Two, uh, he even has grandkids now. And three, um, he works so hard that, like I even say, he's he's working so hard that on so many things and goals and aspirations that he's involved in that he doesn't have time to be high all the time. I know certain people can be um can be somewhat productive when they're getting high, but he's you can tell I can tell this man is always constantly focused. He's focused on what he's doing and what he's about. He is not focused on getting high and getting drunk. He is focused on making his money moves with his new record company that he has. Um he's already, you know, he's coming out with the new music, releasing that uh, releasing some of the old music he's releasing he's he's moving the music to different platforms he is on so many different television shows i mean if you even i remember seeing during the pandemic you know once certain states started opening up my man was still doing on shows and, you know he went to you know he was he lives in california he's from california but california was closed i remember he was out in the middle of georgia and and not atlanta but out in the middle of nowhere georgia um <clears throat> on a show um, being a judge for different artists and things of that nature. So I got to give credit where credit is due. But this whole um, get partying all the time and getting high and being drunk all the time and not having your focus. And look, and hey, I'm, when I was in my 20s, you know, I used to like to go out and have a good time. And, you know, I still have to go out and have a good time every now and then. But not every day, not every weekend. I don't, and I don't always want to be the brunt of... Um, those would be uh, the brunt of a person not being focused because when you're drunk and high, you're not focused. All right. When you're drunk and high, you're not going to want to get a lot of things done. Now, certain people do. Don't get me wrong, but it's easier to be taken advantage of if you're drunk and high all the time. You know, and I'm not saying nothing about Gangster Boo. I don't know. They haven't released how she's died yet. And I'm not going to put out any false information. So I know TMZ said allegedly, but who cares what TMZ says? I don't even know why that stupid media, quote unquote, media outlet is even a lot uh, still existing anymore because i i mean well, why would anybody if you want to be entertained you watch tmz if you want to get real information go to other new media news media outlets hey 
You know, that all TMZ is is a freaking inter because I never even knew TMZ existed until that whole debacle happened with that one restaurant owner and owner in Dallas, Texas, who could not believe he had to have a, a conversation about why twerking isn't allowed in his restaurant and why do you have an issue with twerking? He's like, I don't have an issue with it. He's I, I remember this years ago. He said, time and place. He said, my restaurant isn't the place. You twerk at the club. You don't twerk at my restaurant. My restaurant, my restaurant is a upscale place. So I'm not mad at that, you know, but it is what it is in that aspect. But, you know, that's my main thing. It's, it's easy to get on focus. It's easy to be chasing a bunch of females or a women, woman chasing a bunch of guys on social media, especially nowadays, like social media. That's why I said in, in 2023, I'm, I'm working hard to be off of social media unless I'm doing some work because I know I'm not missing anything on there. I, I mean, the only social media I really need to be on is listening to podcast videos. That's going to elevate my mind. But, um, but anyways, I, I've gone on a rant on this, you know, because it's really the only video I'm doing today. So I'm just getting all my energy out into this video. But, but yeah, it's like, you know, with 2023, it's like, I think it's going to be a cluster for the people that don't want to change. I think 23, 2023 is going to be a cluster for people that still are thinking like 2022 or really, or I like to say still thinking like it's 1995 or 1985. Um, and I, and I really implore anybody, if you have goals and aspirations, cut off your family members, cut off your friends, live below, way below your means, live in a one room shack if you need to, but go after your dreams because your friends and family members that don't support your dreams, get rid of them. There's nothing at this point, but dead freaking weight. You can't federate with friend, family and friend member, friends, family and friends who are not on board with your goals and aspirations. That is one thing I have to say with, with, you know, take into consideration. You have to leave your comfort zone. Even myself, I'm, I'm living, I'm living proof of that because I, like in 2023, I have a take no prisoners mentality and I don't care. And I'm like, forget your feelings because I've, I've done a great job of considering everybody else's feelings. And a lot of times that's held me back in life and I'm, and I'm learning to do that, you know? So I don't care what your last name is. I don't care what the bloodline is. I don't care how much we had a quote unquote, Friendship or family, all that good stuff. It means nothing if you are doing a beautiful job of keeping me stagnated and 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 halting my progression in life. Cause I and I implore and I'm saying this, I'm projecting this energy off to people because I'm saying this, I'm imploring everybody that I don't care how good your heart is, I don't care how much a family member quote unquote means to you. If they are hindering your progression in this life and they are not willing to federate with you, get rid of them. They gotta go. Even if you live in the same house with them, leave the house. If they, if you own the house, kick them out the house. Get rid of them. 2023 is not the year for, for blood sucking ticks, leeches. It's not that year. It's a take no prisoners year. That's what I'm declaring 2023. It's a take no prisoners year. Nothing's going to get done by just being on social media and clowning around and getting high and getting drunk. Nothing is going nothing good is gonna come of that. In my personal opinion. I mean, you know, the people that are making the money are the ones you who are, you're buying it from. Because a lot of times people forget that everything, and I mean everything, revolves around the dollar and making the money move, regardless. That's why we say you might not be able to be a business owner, but you are a person that can have a side hustle. And you are a person that can invest your money. You know why? Because every time you spend your money with somebody else, you are literally investing into someone else. That is one thing I got to say, take into consideration. I mean, this, you, I, that's one thing I hope people understand. Because when people are like, well, I don't understand the stock market. I don't understand bonds. I don't understand cryptocurrency. I don't understand individual time accounts. I don't understand 401ks. We got YouTube today, baby. YouTube University gives you the least one-on-one -on -one aspects of these things. So many videos out there. You even got to look at mine. Just look at somebody else's. I don't want to be invested. I just want to. I just want to have a family and take care of them. And like it's 1975, and I just want to work my job. And I, and it's not fair that people say I should. They 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 demand more out of me. Well, that's the way the freaking game goes. Or as they say, that's the way that the cookie crumbles. And everybody doesn't understand that. You understand football. You're about to fumble your life. And that is what I'm getting at. Okay, 
The rules of engagement in the economic world today is is different. And the reason why people that speak English as a second language is surpassing most working Americans is because they don't want to understand that the family needs to operate as an economic unit. Oh yeah, I think I'm going deep today. I had this conversation uh, with an individual today and I was just like, you know what? After after listening to a podcast on the Social Proof podcast, and this one brother who owns, used to own a bunch of real estate, now he owns a bunch of public storage facilities for uh, mom and pop operations. My man was breaking down some serious game that a lot of people do, especially, um, you know, they call the susus. The family, like the susus can work if the families have a plan and don't just invest the money and the families aren't shady and things of that nature. But susus can work, meaning that family put a certain amount of money away every single month, um, hopefully into a fund where the money can grow, and they utilize that money to buy assets. Sometimes they use that fund as a, a retirement plan, but a lot of times the smarter ones use it as a chance to buy assets. And he's like, he's got only 12 members of his family. This was a deep story. My man says, I got 12 members of my family and they, the only way that they can show me that they are serious is they have to open up an LLC, Limited Liability Corporation. And they have to um, bring the credit report. He's like, and that's, and then they obviously have to sign a contract to say that they will commit. But they have to prove that they are serious about joining the family um, investment fund, in a sense. It's a, it's like a SUSU, but it's not. because A SUSU can be various different versions and things of that nature. Um, but my man gets 12 people a month. To contribute two hundred dollars a month, twelve members of his family. All right, the family talking about business, you know, because that's what I said. It's like, you know, what what good is a family and to me right now? What good is a family cookout or reunion if the family don't discuss doing some business together? You know, I got a friend of mine. His dad is about to start a. Uh, he's a he's a jack of all trades person, but because he doesn't speak English that well. He wants his son to help him out part time so that he can get gain more contracts with the not with the with the um, English speaking community. And, you know, the family's from the Dominican Republic. So he's like he works in the um, home health aid industry. So he's like, yeah, sure. I can do deals um, face to face and I can do deals, um, you know, via Zoom or Microsoft Teams or whatever have you. He's like, you know, as far as the English speaking part, the emailing, you know, help him set up the website. The whole nine, you know, hey, I, you know, his daughter's going to help him get the business cards and with the website and things of that nature. That's a family business. Okay. That's a family business because the, the father already has a skilled trades. He wants to get a crew of six people. And, and if he gets the contracts when he's dealing with the English speaking community, they're going to be making money, more money moves. And with, the, and with them being Hispanic, they can get, they already got the contracts sorted with the Spanish community because they rock with each other. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting at, man. It's like, you know, um, I'm doing the math now. So $200 times 12, that's $2,400 a month times 12, $2,400 times 12. That is $28,800 a month. That's when a family federates with one another. They've made that much money. Now that's, that's in one year. Now that's in two years. Now I'm going to add on because they're going to put they put this in an investment fund. Um, I'm going to add on. Let's just go with an extra eight thousand dollars. Just doing some simple math there. So that's thirty six hundred thirty six thousand dollars eight hundred dollars. All right. You time you know and you do that within a two year time frame. All right. That's over seventy thousand dollars. And if you do and if you if you just say if you wanted to. Let's just go with save save the twelve people instead of four two hundred dollars a month. They do four hundred dollars a month. That's four thousand eight hundred dollars a month, which equals fifty seven thousand dollars and six hundred fifty seven thousand six hundred dollars within one year. You do that in two years. And that's over. That's over a hundred thousand dollars. Family working as a corporation. Uh, my family members know this, and I've said this out loud. I say it well. I mean, outside of my outside of my younger younger ones, if you're in my age group, um, if you're in my age group, or if you're um, older than me and my family members, I really got much to say to you if you're not talking business. Outside of my mother, 
But my younger ones, that's my younger family members, that's fine. But for the most part, we don't have, we're not going to associate like that if you're not talking business. My friends know if you're not talking business and investing, we don't got much to talk about. Because in that simple equation that I just broke down, simple math, nothing, not rocket science. I'm no scientist. I'm no economist. But families being having access to $100,000 $100, to $80,000 and whatnot can make a lot of money move. They can buy storage facilities. They can buy into a franchise. They can buy a multitude of real estate. In, in certain parts of the Midwest and the South. Or they can invest in whatever the hell they want to invest it into. But more and more working families are going to lose if they continuously doing the leave it to beaver one to years nonsense where I, I just work my job and I pay my bills and I'm just going to raise my family like it's 1955, like I got a real pension. You don't. So the world, the, the world economy, the global economy, the Western nations, it's all about the invest who do, who are the investors and who are the business owners. Outside of that, regardless of who's sitting in the White House, governor's house, mayor's house, economically you're gonna lose. And I'm just saying this, I'm not trying to ask you to sign up for anything. I'm just keeping it real and giving my perspective, and I'm leaving it at that. Yeah, this anybody that's related to me in my age group and up, if you ain't talking about business and investing, if you just wanna brag about your college degrees and brag about the nice car you got, overpriced car you got, an overpriced house you got. Miss me with all that. And I'll just leave it at that. But once again, rest in peace to Gangsta Boo. Um, and I actually wanted to say one of my favorite um, quotes from Juicy J of 3-6 Mafia. Um, he said, man, you know we just put out what people expect from us. You can't pick a 3-6 Mafia album and say, what the hell are you doing? First, you was... Uh, you was this, and now you're this. We the same old dudes. And because of the same old sauce that they have, they've been able to grow in various different ways, especially Juicy J with him um, producing so many different other artists and whatnot and being on various different other tracks and things of that nature. And that's why they killed it at the verses. And they had one last hoorah. And, you know, um, unfortunately, with Gangsta Boo passing away, it's sad. But I will say at the end of the day, the word of the day being Federate, Ensure you do that with your friends and family because time is not on your side. Unless you're, unless you're in your early 20s and whatnot, but time is not on your side. Be around people who know about investing and being having businesses more than they know about celebrity gossip, more than they know about politics, and more than they learn about freaking um, um, sports. I cannot put it any other way on that one. This is the money-making season regardless of what anybody says. This is the money-making season in 2023. And this is the take no economic prisoners in 2023. So stop listening to the nonsense. You even got to listen to me. There's various other people who are in way better positions financially than I am that are going to tell you the same thing. Find your, you know, to quote, what's his name? The basketball player got his name because I don't really follow sports. He said, it's, it's fi find your tribe season. And the only tribe I care about is the economic tribe. <sighs> The only color I care about is green, mean green, as the old school folks would say. And not about flossing new toys and stuff. Not about flossing watches and, and chains and, and motorcycles. When you do that, you're really just making somebody else rich. You know that, right? <laughs> not flossing your new house and all this other crap. We've been there. We've done that. That's old news. That's 1985 mindset. We're done with that. LLCs, S-Corps. Real estate, franchises, businesses, online, brick and mortar, whatever, event space, whatever you're doing, find your tribe, stick with your tribe, because it is find your tribe season. It's kind of like the old days before there were governments and, and corporations where people stuck with their tribe and it had that it takes a village mindset. But now we, we're in the time it framed that it takes the economic village mindset. So I leave it at that. So on that note, do the great three things. Like, share, subscribe. Have a great day. And I'm really saying this with sincerity. You better make money moves because you're going to live broke like a fool. My working people out here. You are in a bad position if you all you want to do is make money from your job. And that's it. Get your side hustle. and show your money's working for you in whatever vehicle it may be in while you're asleep. If you have a job that you don't have a 401k, there's plenty of apps out here that will give you an individual retirement account. And it works the same way. Money gets taken away certain certain times a month, and it gets invested in the S&P 500. Think on it. 
and I'm not giving out financial advice. I'm saying do your homework, do your research. Don't just listen to a random guy on social media. But it is find your tribe, economic tribe season. It is take no prisoner season. All right. Because if I see another post at the end of 2023, my God, man, I thought I was going to get all this done. And I, I lost my job and I, I got no savings and I got no money to pull for me investment vehicles and things of that nature. And why can't it just be like the good old days? Because the good old days are dead. Diggity, diggity dead. Esta muerto. Dia de los muertos. To the freaking old days. That means they are the dead to the old days. Straight up and down. All right. So on that note, I'm out. Take care.